Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I'm going to be trying out some new paints that I got. Uh, they are by Gen Crafts. They are a set of 12 metallic acrylic pouring paints. So they are uh, pre-mixed, similar to what you can get at Michael's, the Michael's pre-mixed ones, or the Arteza, and I think there's a few more out there. But this is a newer brand that I saw a few months ago and, and said, oh, I should probably try those. And they, they contacted me and asked me if I would try uh, some of their pouring paints. And I was like, well, yeah. <laughs> I love to test new paints, so of course. But these, I don't know if you can see, these are the colors. Might look backwards on camera here if it is. I'll put, I'll take snapshots and put it at the beginning of this video like I normally do. But there's 12 colors. They're all, I picked the metallic set because I love metallics. But they also had a neon paints uh, premix set and then just like regular colors. Um, a premix set as well but these it says it's designed in the USA I don't know what that means uh, but they're non-toxic so I'm excited to give them a go uh, with the blooms technique I did try them by themselves just more traditional acrylic pouring I did a couple of tries with straight pour, uh, different variations of straight pours and realized that these paints are super thin um, they're definitely a fluid fluid. They were almost like water to me. So I, and I don't like my paints that thin. So I thought, well, you know what, these might actually be really good uh, for the blooms technique, treating it as a fluid, a fluid acrylic paint. It's a pre-mixed, but I'm going to give it a go and see what happens. <laughs> so that's what this video is. I'm going to be doing three paintings with these paints and I will walk you through all of it. So let's go get started. All right, my tests with these paints are going to be, I'm gonna be using six by six canvases. And my pillow is gonna be my Glidden Premium Base One Pure White in the eggshell. Now I am, I did mix up these, these uh, paints with both of my pouring mediums, the Glidden Minwax, and, uh, and the uh, Bear Glidden. And when I say both of them, I mean some colors I've mixed up with the uh, Glidden Minwax and then some colors I mixed up with the Bear Glidden. And I will let you know as I put them down. All right. That should be enough pillow. For this first one, I'm going to use the the gold, Gen Crafts Gold, and I mixed this gold up. Here's the consistency. I've mixed this up with the Glen Minwax Pouring Medium. So it is going to be a little bit thinner than the other ones, and I'm fine with that. We're just, we're, we're I'm more worried about the colors. Uh, these paints themselves, I want to see how they react, not only with the pouring medium, uh, the pouring mediums, but also how they dry, how they interact with the pillow, the cell activators, all that good stuff. Because this might be a nice option for, um, even though they're made for more traditional acrylic pouring, I'm, I'm not traditional, I, I like to use things for other means. Uh, it might be a nice option for fluid paints, so we are giving this a go. Uh, the Green Pearl, the Gen Crafts gr uh, Green Pearl. And I will have a picture of all the paints and pouring mediums that I use at the beginning, like I normally do. So you can snapshot it. This one, you can see the consistency. I mixed up with my Bare Glidden pouring medium, so it's uh, just a touch thicker. Not by much though, so I'm not really concerned with uh, the consistencies of these together. Let's drizzle that around. And I did mix these up uh, last night 
just so that I wouldn't have a lot of bubbles. And they're really, uh, there's, and then I, I had to restir them just gently. And there are, uh, I'm not seeing a lot of bubbles at all. All right. And then this last one is the blue metal, the Gen Crafts. And I mixed, there's the consistency. I mixed this with uh, the Bear Glidden as well. <clears throat> okay, and for these cell activators, I'm going to be using two because I'm be fancy again. I'm using my normal black, the Oxide Black Amsterdam, mixed four to one, like I normally do. And then the second cell activator is the, the Amsterdam Copper. Can't get it out of my head still, and I've probably put too much on, but I don't care. <laughs> We're going to go with it. That was nice and reactive. That is a nice big bubble. All right, let me bring you back up top. All right. Just a few modifications, because uh, it wouldn't be me. This blew out nice. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna bring this over to the spinner and we're going to the, the spinner box and we're gonna see how this goes. All right, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more pillow around the edges just to get it to flow. Wow. I'm digging that. Whatever is happening in the center, I'm digging that. Just a little. Well, that looks pretty darn cool. Nice 
shine to them too. And these iridescents. It's not in your face, it is subtle. We're gonna use the same pillow. I've decided we're just gonna use all the colors together that I have mixed up. This one that I'm gonna lay down first is the copper. Let me show you the bottle. Oh, actually it's copper gold. That registers copper gold. And I mixed this up with the Glidden Min Wax. Actually, I'm just gonna pour some. Yeah, definitely, definitely thin. I'm going to keep playing with these even after. I might actually thicken them up with some of my golden heavy gel gloss. All right, the next one I'm going to use is the gold that I use is again mixed with the Glidden Min Wax. And the purple again is mixed with the bare glidden and i have no idea what this is going to look like i'm just having fun with these colors just to test them all out all right and i mixed this with the glidden min wax pouring medium And then the green, again, that was mixed. What did I mix that with? That was with the Glidden Min Wax. And when I mixed these up, I these are one ounce containers. And I like to use these, especially if I'm testing <clears throat> excuse me, a new pouring medium or new colors, new paints, anything like that. I'll use normally, uh, you see, I have the bigger containers, the three ounce. These are one ounce containers. I get them um, off of Amazon. And that should be good. But sorry about that. <laughs> But what I did was I just put mm, maybe about halfway, three quarter way with the pouring medium. And then I just squirted in maybe two or three squirts. I know it's not exact measurement, but these are very fluid. They're kind of, if I had to say what they're kind of like, I would say they are between golden fluid and golden high flow it, there it's kind of in the middle of that that's that's how well, that's their consistency okay moving on all right the green pearl which I mixed with the bare glidden And yeah, these are a lot of crazy colors. <laughs> and then the only reason I'm mixing them all together is because I, I really want to truly test these paints out by themselves. Typically, I would only have one or two iridescents in a, in a piece and I would mix it with regular tube paints. So that's another reason for the method to my madness of what I'm doing today. And then I'm going to do the blue metal. This is going to be all kinds of crazy. And then the last one I mixed up and I didn't use is Iron Pearl. Let me show you that I mixed this with the Glidden Min Wax. Just 
put a little of that on. It's kind of like a dark silver. All right. That is quite a mishmash of colors. For the cell activator, I am just going to use black. And we will see what happens. I like what I'm seeing so far. I'm being fancy in this one. Kind of reminds me a little of stained glass. I wanted to put a little bit more modifications in here to see what we can get out of it. Alrighty. Adding a little bit more paint. Pillow paint. For movement. That's good. There's what that one looks like. Get out of the glare. All right, here we go. Ooh, wow. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. I don't want to spin anymore, but I feel like I have to get some more paint off. Yeah, just a touch. Wow. That is cool. All right, my mishmash worked out well. Let's see how much paint. It's still, uh, it's still kind of moving. I think it might be okay. Just a baby spin. All right. Move this over just a little. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. Okay. I realized, okay, you know what? I'm, I need to test this out completely. So I used, uh, in, in the last three paintings I just did, I used the Glidden Min Wax and I used the Bear Joe Sony, which are the two pouring mediums that I absolutely love and I use all the time. But then I was thinking about the one that I revealed last week with the pigments and that just makes things that much more blingy. The 
Bear Josonia Polly. And when I was done, I thought, wait a minute, you know what? This consistency might actually be perfect for it. So here we are. <laughs> I only mixed up, and I just mixed them up, so they're going to be a little bit bubbly, but I only mixed up three colors. I mixed up these three, the green pearl, the gold, and the blue metal. And we're just going to test it on a four by six tester panel and see how it goes. So I'm going to use the same, same pillow, the uh, Glidden Premium in the eggshell. I'm going to lay down the gold first. This is the consistency of it. It's got a nice consistency. And you can see it's a lot more, uh, my new word, blingy. <laughs> But it is. All right. Touch more. And then next I'm going to put down the green pearl. It's more of a uh, teal, I want to say, than a green green, but it's really pretty color. All right. And now the blue metal, which I think has to be my favorite. That is like the perfect consistency right there, I feel. And that is exciting for me. <laughs> the tester. <clears throat> All right. Whoa. Not yet. Stay over here. <clears throat> All right. I'm just going to use the uh, black cell activator for this one. Nice and quick. Oops, I might have put too much, but that's okay. Oh, that is so blingy. This might be a winner winner chicken dinner for these paints. This uh this pouring medium. I was getting a little discouraged because it was super thin with the other ones, but it seems to be the perfect consistency with these <clears throat> pre-mixed paints. Alright. A couple little modifications and then Bring it over to the spinner box. It's so pretty. All right. There we go. I just felt like being fancy with this last one. <laughs> Adding just a little bit more pillow to the sides. I am super excited to see how this spins out. It is, it's super bling. It's the bear Joe Sonia Polly. <laughs> I may have found some paints that actually work really well. This is so exciting. Because the tube paints were just not working for me. Do you see the bling in there? All right. Here we go. Oh, look at that. I don't want to spin it again. I have to. Just get a little bit more off. Oh, wow. 
It is so pretty. Okay. I'm stopping right there because it's way too pretty. Wow. All right. The bling on this. Holy cow. Here's the flyover of the first one. You can see there's definitely a lot of shimmer going on, but it feels a bit subtle, which I don't mind. I love that blue, it's gorgeous. Looks like my copper got lost, it sank in there. But I think it gives it a nice little mix in the center. Definitely a lot of shimmer in here. And I'm glad I went with the black cell activator. This this is my favorite out of all three that I that I did. All right. And there's that one. All right. Here is the final one. Look at how blingy that is. I am going to blame the Bear Josonia Poly. I am super excited to see how this dried, how they all dry. So I will be back as soon as they're dried for the with the dried results. And I'm back to show you the dried results of the paintings that I just did. So, and they all dried beautifully. I was super excited to see that. And this is the first one. It dried just like you saw it wet. And because I, uh, with the, with all of these, I was testing, well, the first two paintings, I was testing the Glidden Minwax and the Bare Glidden, and I used both in, well, in the first two pieces. You can kind of see the difference. This gold was the Glidden Minwax, so it's a bit more subtle, but this blue up here, you can see it kind of wants to bling a little bit more, if you can see that because uh, that was mixed with the bear glidden. So it's keeping, <laughs> I like to say it's keeping in time with when I did my pigments video last week. It's kind of showing it's a bit more muted again with the glidden minwax and then with the bear glidden. But it dried really nice and it, it the, I know these paints are pre-mixed, so, but I was treating them as if they were a fluid, just a fluid paint and using them this way mixing them in my pouring medium and they played nice i i they it dried beautifully it i did, didn't see any flocculation or any kind of weird weird stuff but it dried beautifully the cell activators yeah everything dried beautifully so that's the first one and the second one dried just as beautifully it's got a bit more shimmer, but you, again, you can tell uh, some of the paints that were mixed with the Glidden Minwax and then the Bare Glidden, they stand out just a little bit more. And I'm going to resin, I'm going to resin these uh, once they're ready because I'm, I really want to see how it comes back. And now for the third one, which I suspected. <laughs> this guy. Look at how, look at how blingy that is. I was super excited. And then this was the Bear Joe Sonia Poly that I mixed those three, the gold, the uh, green pearl, and then the blue metal. And they have a really nice metallic sheen to them. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but 
it is super bling. And if I were to, this is just a test panel that if I were to resin it, it would just shine like you wouldn't believe. So, <laughs> so the, these all, and, and again, with the cell activator and the pouring medium, I mean, it just dried beautifully. So these paints passed my tests with the pouring medium. I know how they are displayed. They're pre-mixed. So essentially you're not supposed to mix them into a pouring medium, but alone I felt that they were really watery and I, I don't usually work with consistencies that are that thin. And so I thought it would be a great alternative for the Blooms Technique, which is why I tested them here. And I feel like they passed with flying colors. The uh, mixing in with the pouring mediums, at least the pouring mediums I use, the cell activators I use. So I'm totally going to continue to use these paints going forward. I'm super curious about their other sets. They have the neon set and then um, a regular premixed, just regular colors. I think it was a, a mix of 24. And then they also had, um, similar to what Arteza has, where they have their, their big 60, you know, their little small little tubes, but it's a 60 pack. They have something like that. And I love testing paints. So I'm totally going to try those as well. They, these worked out really well. I know not in their intended purpose, but I always like to try to find alternative means. And technically the Blooms Technique is an alternative way of using house paints for painting. So there you have it. <laughs> I'll put the link down below to the this the website to these paints and, and all the other stuff that they have in case anybody's interested in checking them out. But let me know in the comments below what you thought, if anyone has used them before, what you think of them. Really enjoyed creating this video and testing these paints out. I had a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.